morning. Welcome to Prayers That Light Our Path this morning. You know all of us have gifts that God has given to us. They're called spiritual gifts. There's the gift of being able to talk to people. There's a gift to be able to proclaim Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ. There's gifts of compassion. There's gifts of mercy. There's gifts of forgiveness. There's just a whole bunch of different kinds of gifts that God has entrusted us with as, as His children. It reminded me of a verse from 1 Corinthians 12, 7. And that verse tells us, Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. My friends, take a few minutes today. Take a few minutes and just discern what you're good at. What gifts God has given you that make you who you are and that make you the Christian that you are and that help you to tell other people about Jesus Christ. Identify those gifts. Work on those gifts. Perfect those gifts. And they will only come back to us tenfold as we do that, making us better disciples for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go to me, go with me this morning in prayer. Father, I know, I know, I'm not the only Christian that you have given spiritual gifts to. You give them to each one of us who are believers and who are your children. And I need to recognize and to respect the gifts of all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Give me the, the discernment and help me to appreciate others, their abilities, so that we can use all of them to work together for your kingdom. Father, we need to work together, not fight over who has the best gift or who gives the most money, but to work together as, as Christians, as your children, so that everyone can have the benefits that we have in walking in your life. Instead of becoming proud, Father, and self-righteous, I want to use my gifts to benefit my Christian family. Everything that I do should benefit others. They shouldn't benefit me. Teach me how to use what you've given me. Father, teach all of us how to use what you have given to us, that you've given to us for your glory alone. Father, we love you. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your blessing. And this morning in your name we pray. Amen. Friends, I rem I'm reminded of an old saying that it takes a village to raise a child. It takes the whole church to help us as children of God, to raise us in the way that we need to be worked with and we need to be directed and we need to be taught and we need to be to be encouraged to follow that road that leads us to eternal life. Don't forget, God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope you have a grand and glorious Saturday.